towards an extra mile with a smile in a momentous task of molding mind good evening ladies and gentlemen dignitaries invited guests friends well wishers parents teachers and my dearest students as we stand at the threshold of the gathering it is time to unfold our horizons and rejoice in the simple pleasure that life has bestowed with the scintillation performance of little indians academy with much pride and honor presented to you in its 13th graduation ceremony of gandhipuram and third graduation ceremony of sai baba colony branch a day without prayer is a day without blessing and life without prayer is life without power i request everyone to stand for tamritai varth Yeah, this 
the most divine form of art that express a wide range of thoughts and emotions. Bha means emotions, Ra means music, Ta means rhythm and Natyam means dance. Thus, Bhardhanatyam is the dance that encompasses music, rhythm and expression that adheres to the Natya Shastra. Here we have a classical dance teacher, Mrs. Vani Shri's dance students, Daksha, Harshavina, Mitriya, Neha Lakshana, to welcome the turnouts with their classical dance. Om Dagadom Kita Dagadat Junutam Dagajunutam Anita Jero and Mr. Jero. I request Mrs. Anita Jero and Mr. Jero to invite Mrs. Jyoti Henry and Mr. Henry. Our chief guest is the principal of Lizu Siyama International School, Sai Baba Colony, which believes each child is unique and special and is blessed with immense potential. It is one of the leading schools in Kaimathur. He served for the various institutions for 20 plus years. I request all our dignitaries to invite our chief guest, principal of Liz UCMI International School, Reverend Father Jojo Palaparamil.
the world with a sense of freedom and graciousness. I invite Mrs. Karishma to spray the sweet aroma of happiness through the words of welcome. Bonjour, dear Bhavanu. Me ami emo bubli jata invite a novio pule jo de la rami the diploma silver blue encourage la infa sole aplaudi mo passe otria bo journey. Greetings to one and all present here. A fascinating evening to all distinguished chief guests, Reverend Father Jojo Palaparambil, audience, my dear friends and parents. I am extremely privileged to have this opportunity to address you all at this important moment for celebrating our grand graduation ceremony of Gandhipuram and Sai Baba Colony branches. Today's children are future of our state as well as our country. Brilliant faces that I am witnessing today, receiving awards and exhibiting their talents will grow up and definitely will be the citizens of our beloved nation tomorrow. It's indeed a pleasant evening where we all are soaked in the celebration mode, ambience and chirping of fellow friends. Thank you all for providing this enthusiasm. Every end is a new beginning. Today, a chapter of the school closes because a new beginning awaits us. It is overwhelming that we now count 13 years from the inception of school and what a journey it has been. We have grown up to three branches and still counting. I extend my warm welcome to our business head Mr. Jerome and Mrs. Anita Jerome who are the pillars of this temple of knowledge with your love and support, you led us and guided us. Welcome you sir and ma'am. It's my turn to extend a gracious and glad welcome to our dear center head, Mr. Henry and Mrs. Jyoti Henry. Both these couples are in this field of education for the last 13 years conducting school and after school activities in Gandhipuram, Saravanapati and Sai Baba Colony running successfully. Now, it's time to extend an affable and fabulous welcome to our chief guest, Reverend Father Jojo Palaparambil, who have done his graduation in MA, BA and MBA at reputed institutions, who is the principal of Lisieux CMI International School at Sai Baba Colony, Coimbatore. It's our great honor to have you here this evening. Welcome, Father. Let's give a round of applause. We are grateful from the bottom of our heart for courteously and gladly accepting our invitation for being the chief guest of today's occasion. At an every end of the day, the key for our success as well as a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. Thank you parents for your continued trust and faith. Your presence in such an occasion is a source of great motivation and encouragement for the entire team of Little Indians. Bright and jubilant faces are about to keep us enthralled for the next 14,400 seconds even. And this evening is going to be a more valuable as our Little Indians are going to dance to some of the fusion latest trending songs to seek all your attention towards them. Since we have arranged professionals to record the event, I request you all not to come forward to take photographs and videos. Hope your mobile phones are in silent mode. We, we request you to stay till we play the national anthem at the end. And till then, keep cheering up the children. Are you ready? Let the magic begin. Light is symbol of brightness and prosperity which brings blessings and happiness that enlightens our life. Light the lamp of love in your heart, the lamp of abundance in your home, the lamp of compassion to serve others, the lamp of knowledge to dispel the darkness of ignorance and the lamp of gratitude for the abundance that divine has bestowed on us. To make this evening a blessed one, I request Reverend Father, Mrs. Mary, mother of Mrs. Jerome, Mrs. Radha, mother of Jyoti, Mrs. Jyoti Henry and Mrs. Anita Jerome 
to kindle the lamp of knowledge and wisdom. a good ceremony meant to celebrate an individual academic achievement. Today, as we pay tribute to the young ladies and gentlemen of tomorrow, we know that they have started their remarkable journey towards achieving this goal. This year has seen them grow and develop exponentially. Now, it's time to acknowledge the achievements of our budding superstars. I request Mrs. Lismi to call out our little playgroup butterflies. students Congratulations, congratulations little superstars. As we all know, we conduct the Sports Day Eve on 18th February. Now we are honoring the Sports Day stars. I request all the parents to kindly cheer up our children.
அதிகாலை பூக்களையும் மிஞ்சி விடுகின்றது மழலையே உனது புன்னகையில் மொழிகள் எல்லாம் தவம் கிடக்கிறது மழலையே நீ வாய் திறந்து பேச நீ வாய் திறந்து பேசுவதே அழகென்றால் எம் மழலையே எம் மணிக்குயிலே எம் மயிலே நீ அசைந்தாடினால் வானவில்லின் வர்ணஜாலமாய் அல்லவா மாறும் இவ்வேளை அக்கண் கொல்லா காட்சியாம் எம் மழலைகரின் வர்ணஜாலங்களை காண்போமே நாமும் கண் கொட்ட மறந்து வித் அ பேக் ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் அப்ளாஸ் ஐ எம் எக்ஸைட்டட் டு கால் அப்பான் மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அபிகேல் அன்பரசி சாய் கார்த்தி ஐஸ்வர்யா விஷ்ணுவர்தன் லிஷான் தேவ் ஹர்ஷவர்தன் ஆஃபியா சித்திக் மதுஸ்ரீ பூர்ணாஸ்ரீ மௌலிக்ஷா அண்ட் மௌக்ஷிதா நடக்கும் நடைய ஒரு Oh, I'm done. 
ஒரே வேட்பாட்டி தான்
of pre-KG students. Avantika, Jack Bright, Kaira Akia, Kanish, Kavin Krishna, Nidun, Sai Yadia, Samyukta, Shri Kartikeyan, Siddhar, and Tandika. Lord for our little champs.
Our sports winners are Dakshaya Shri, first place in running race, second place in in and out, and third place in ball basket.
running race.
second place in lemon and spoon and running race.
celebrates the birth of Lord Krishna, Krishna's Jayanti. Uh, little Indians were dressed like Lord Krishna's and Radha's on the day traditional dance and games were played. Onan was celebrated by conducting the Bukalam competition. It was really great to watch with energetic and participations of our beloved parents. Yummy Anapradaman was distributed to kids and to the parents. The competition was judged by staff and management team and the best performed group was awarded. Diwali was celebrated on 24, 21st October with these little bugs by bursting crackers and fireworks. On the same day, we visited Kotalongo Trust for mentally disabled girls and understood about their lifestyle and shared few words of encouragement with the nuns and the girls who needed our support. We hand over the materials like the dress, provisions, etc. and cash donated by parents and boy or team of our Little Indians Academy. They convey their wholehearted thanks to each one of us. We too thank the parents who extend their helping hands. An important day in the lives of Christians, Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ, evolved over millennia into worldwide. Religious and secular celebration, Santa Claus along with children enjoy the day with delicious cake and chocolate on the day. Marking the importance of good harvest crops and it is a festival of joy, peace and prosperity. The Thanksgiving festival at the end of the harvest season, the Pongal was celebrated. Divinely Pongal was prepared by the staff and distributed to kids and parents. Republic Day was celebrated on 26 January and same day was celebrated as Caretaker's Day. It was a fun-filled day with a lot of games, music and dance and had a good time watching a movie. On behalf of the Republic Day, coloring contest was connected to the students. Independence Day was celebrated on August 15, flag was hoisted and chocolates were distributed. The important aspects learning include alphabets and numbers which is the foundation of language. This was celebrated as a special day in which different innovative properties were used to explain and identify. Raksha Bandhan was celebrated in a traditional way and the sisters tied Raki to the brothers. Now, I call upon Mrs. Saranya Devi to continue the annual report. Good evening to all. Fruits Day was celebrated in the month of July. The objective of the event was to create awareness among children about the importance of consumption of fruits in regular diet. Children brought different fruits. Finally, fruit salad was prepared and was served to the children and to the parents. Vegetables Day was celebrated with variety of vegetables. Teachers educated the importance of vegetables in day-to-day -day life to the children and they prepared tasty healthy soup and distributed to all. Paper Bag Day was celebrated in the month of July and the children actively participated in making paper bags and distributed to all the students. Parts of the body was celebrated with virtual learning with the help of our parents and teachers materials they prepared different parts of the body were explained to our kids using innovative properties. Girl Trail Day was celebrated in October month. Teachers explained the importance of girl education and rights of a girl. Flowers Day was celebrated in the month of November, which natural and artificial flowers, charts, bouquet were decorated with full of flowers. Transport Day was celebrated with various types of transport brought by our little ones. Field trip for this year went to Children's Traffic Park. A school field trip gives students the chance to experience something new and new learn things. An instructor at the park explained the importance of road safety and traffic rules. Our little ones were provided with good snacks and they were happy to share with each other. Apart from the festivals and celebrations, a free dental camp was conducted by Dr. N. Bharati MDS and her team to improve the oral health and hygiene of our little Indians. Sports Day was celebrated on February 18. Our, sports, our future sports champions participated in different sports events in Gandhi Vidyalaya School campus. The students were very excited about the events and the activities carried out throughout the events. The winners were awarded. Well done children, congratulations to all the winners. National Science Day was celebrated in February month. Children learned the different inventions and scientists. Teachers explained about the importance of science. World Soil Day was celebrated on 5th December as a means to focus attention on the importance of healthy soil and to advocate for the sustainable management of soil resources. Teachers made a demo and explained the importance of soil and layers of soil.
of various millets and are explained in different ways. We were stunned to see your efforts towards this project. It was awesome and amazing. The toppers will be honored today. The final term assessment will begin from 29 March and will end up by 4th April. I would like to conclude by extending our sincere thanks to all the parents and our well wishers who have lent a constant supportive hand down through the years in our endeavors to produce a confident and capable batch of students each year. Genius are not born but made. I hope you all will enjoy our cultural programs presented by our little Indians and our evening with us is a pleasurable one. Thank you everyone. Now it's time for the most awaited part of the evening. Let us start the program by dance performance of a cute little Indians. Now I call upon Andrew, Harshita, Ukile, Tanshika, Nevi, Poojita, Dhyanesh, Krishvi, Ivan Gracious and Dakshya Shri to rock the stage.
our chief guest, Principal, Liz, Principal of Lizu Siyama International School, Reverend Father Jojo Pala Piramu, to share his thought with us. A pleasant good evening to all of you. It deems to be really a pleasant and good evening because you are all so delighted after being the witnesses of the beautiful programs conducted by your kids. Mr. and Mrs. Henry, Mr. and Mrs. Jerome, invited guests, respected parents, respected teachers, and my dear loving students. At the outset, let me take this opportunity to congratulate all the kids who in one way or other achieved some success in their lives. I had been to Saravanabati Little Indian School a few years back. I was just relishing the memories of that time when I was invited to be part of this program. I felt that I am again I'm back to the same place. I was wondering why this name has been chosen, Little Indians. I think by giving such a name, the management tries to inculcate in the students, in the young minds, the true patriotism, love for a country. Now they are very little, but after a few years, they are going to be the citizens of the country. That means they become part and parcel of the country. Really, it's a great moment that you are all gathered here to encourage this small little children. It's really the happy and pleasant evening to witness, witness such an occasion. It gives us lots of joy and happiness seeing the faces of the innocent children. They're all innocent. We were also once like these innocent children, but now we have all grown and we have almost forgot the real meaning of innocence, I hope. I do not want to share much about the graduation. No, graduation is actually a milestone in the life of anyone. As far as we are concerned, it may not be that a big achievement, but for these little children, this is one of the biggest achievements of their little age. So they are very happy when they have been awarded with a certificate, a medal, or a memento. So they are going to cherish this memory throughout their life. So this is the time they are preparing themselves to pursue, to continue their higher studies. That means their schooling. This stage is called the preschool. Actually, it is not the school. It's a preschool where the child is being groomed, shaped, formed, and molded and they are about to enter into a vast ocean of the society. I would like to share a small story with all the parents and also the management. It's about the two neighbors. One of them was a retired teacher and the other was an insurance agent. The insurance agent was so interested in the technical field. He had a lot of love for technology. And both of them planted few plants in their respective gardens. And the retired teacher gave little water to the plants. And he was also taking care of it, but not too much. On the other hand, the insurance agent 
he was so keen that every plant has been watered properly and every plant is being tended properly and he was spending a lot of time with those plants and both the plants started growing after some days the plants of the retired teacher grew it was good but it was simple but the plants of the insurance agent was so greenish so strong so fuller so that was the nature of that plants and on a particular day there was a heavy rain and a wind because of a small storm and both of them knew that it would have caused a lot of damage to their plants the next day both of them came thinking what kind of damage the rain could have caused to the plants and as the insurance agent came out and happened to notice that almost all his plants were uprooted and all the plants were down on the ground and on the other hand the plants of the retired teacher they were firm and nothing had happened to them nothing has damaged them and really that uh, agent the insurance agent was surprised and he approached the retired teacher and asked why your plants are still so firm i had taken a lot of pain to you know nurture them giving water and pampering but it is already fallen down why it's not yours then the retired teacher said you had given a lot of care to the plants you watered a lot so that the roots of the plant need not go in search of water everything was available but on the other hand i was watering only little and the plants of the roots they had to deep go deep into the soil and search for the water and almost all the roots were spread everywhere so that no no um, what we call wind or rain could uproot it so we shouldn't pamper a lot we shouldn't take care of you have to make those plants to grow of its own and it has to face the difficulties my dear parents this is what i would like to tell you all these kids are the simple plants don't think that you have to give lot of pampering to them you have to make them face the difficulties the harsh lives so you may always think you had undergone a lot of pain, painful experiences you had many things which were not for you but these children should not face any kind of troubles or difficulties in their lives this is the biggest problem that the present world faces that's what i hope because being from the field of education i have been experiencing lots of such you know the parents who are pampering a lot to the children and finally they are being spoiled just because they have given more than what they are in need of their children so that was the main mistake no nowadays just imagine about the the family life so look at the child who is of less than 1 year old as the child starts crying what do you do first you give a mobile phone to the child so that the child becomes calm and quiet so this is the way that we are you know making or uh, um, pampering the child the, the kids so what they are going to do so whenever they are in need of something they will start crying and you give it and most of the dangerous things of the modern uh, world is the mobile phone you know the students they are very much you no know, very much with the phone you know soon after the schoolings i was just observing what was happening soon after the class hours so soon after the class hours in our school now i used to notice the parents would take the students out the children out and the parents will be in a group they'll be talking for a long time giving away 
the mobile to the students and the mobile the students will be playing with the mobile outside and the parents will be talking among themselves this is the way that the parents are training the kids at home i think this is a big and dangerous situation and it is going to affect their future as well so this is not the time for the students to have a mobile phone or to play with the mobile phone they have lots of other entertainment programs so let them be with that let them go out let them have a physical exercise so it is going to affect their physical as well as, as, well as the mental you know ability so that's why dear parents i request all of you to make sure that your children are not given with mobile phone unless and otherwise it is so important otherwise leave them so unless you train them like you know uh, the, the the plants that are being grown in a very difficult situation where there are lots of problems to face it will not be strong enough when the different roots of the different trees are being related together see it cannot be uprooted no storm no wind can make those trees to uproot it instead they will be strong they will be because of that bondness will be strong enough you know for a long years so this is what we have to train the students as well you know the the children are the lumps of clay so whatever is given to you you have to form you have to shape whether it's a teacher whether it's a parent or any kind of people who are directly or involved directly or they are indirectly involved in the process of shaping the children so you have to you know shape them into a beautiful beautiful cups the beautiful pots beautiful vessels and it has to undergo a lots of painful experiences we have to pluck out the clay from the soil along with the soil and it has to be you know you know molded it has to be put into the oven the hot paint has to be poured on it then only it will be looking so attractive similarly unless and otherwise the students are being trained in the hardships of life they will not be able to succeed in their life so that's my humble request for all the teachers and the students we need to take care of the students we need to give them what they are in requirement and everything but there should be a limit you have to stop when and where it has to be stopped so instead of stopping if you permit the children to go along with their own desires so they are going to face a difficult time in their future they must be able to accept the failures the difficulties and all kinds of obstacles and struggles in their real life so don't think that they are very young we need to pamper them a lot yes you can but again put a limit to all these kinds of pampering and uh, you know different kinds of caring so dear parents and dear teachers may i request all of you to make sure that these children are the gift of god so they should be given their own freedom they should be given chances for them to get molded by themselves with your support and not they themselves alone certain times they may not be able to take a decision of themselves you may be a person who can give support so that you know you uh, bring them by giving your hand to you know come up this is the way that you have to train them so that you know uh, uh, at, at the end of the uh, certain stage you will be so happy and elated that you have done your role correctly so whenever you need to correct your children don't be reluctant to correct them so whenever it is an important thing that the child is to be corrected correct them when they are need to be encouraged encourage them when they are need to be discouraged discourage them so accordingly they will be able to you know grow and they will be groomed you know how the vines are being pruned in order to get more and more fruit every year the vine dresser prunes it 
so that new leaves comes new fruits comes so that the purpose of the wine is being finally done this is the way that you also have to do once again i congratulate all the students as well as all the stakeholders as well as the parents for grooming these beautiful kids into you know beautiful buds to be blossomed in the near future let god bless you all thank you Kids are more talented than elders. Up next is one such performance to be witnessed by us. I now call upon Dheeragyan of KG1 with his parent to show his talent. Today's one of the most convenient mode of transportation is car. So it is ha it has also influenced our little ones as well. Here we have Dheeragyan to stunt us by identifying the different names of car logos along with his mother Aparna Krishna. A warm welcome to the TK to the pillars pillars of our little India Academy. My dear friends and parents, I am K D Rakhiyan, studying K D one. My Talent is branding of cars. Audi, Bentley, BMW, Cadillac. How at Ferrari Fos Ford Mustang Honda Hyundai Jaguar Koenigsegg Lamborghini. Lexus, Ashok Leyland, Maserati, Mercedes Benz, Morris, Morris Carriages, Mitsubishi Motors, Porsche, Renault. World Series, Skoda, Subaru, Maruti Suzuki, Tata, Tesla, Toyota Crown, Volkswagen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Wow, that was amazing, dear. Let us all give him a big round of applause.